Welcome back to another Packet Tracer activity. This is 324, installing Cisco iOS software. So we are going to verify the image that's on the router, transfer the new image to the router, uh, check to see that the new image installed properly, uh, specify the boot order, and then verify that that correct order, uh, correct image is loaded when the router boots up. So we are going to upgrade the Cisco 1841 router. Uh, let's see, so our image is on the network server. And we are going to use the TFTV server that's installed on the network server to get that image. Alright, so we just need to access the router CLI here. Do an enable and then we can see what we have on this one currently. So the file name is c1841-ipbase-mz.123-14.t7.bin. So that's the image we have on here. Um, and we've got 1383-2032 bytes used. And we got this many available. And so we have our total here. And so we can uh, move ahead with transferring our iOS image. So first let's try to ping the network server. So that looks good. Here we go, five for five. Um, so then we need to just enter this command here uh, to begin the process. So we can do copy tftp flash. So we uh, need to enter an address or name of remote host. So what we want to put is the IP address of the network server, which is 192.168.1.10, and they want a file name. So what we want is 141-ipbasec9-mz.124-12.bin. And now uh, we have we need a destination file name. So for that one, we can do 1541-ipbasic9. Well, I guess we've got it's got the same address, so we can just press enter uh, to accept that default name. All right, so we press enter, and you can see the image is transferring, and that many bytes have transferred really quickly. So now we need to verify that the new iOS is installed. So we can do show flash, and you can see the second one here is the one that we just put on. So it is on the router. Uh, so now we want to specify the boot order to make sure that our new one boots. So we need to go to global config mode. So we'll do a configure terminal or conf t. And we want to type boot system flash we're going to type in both file names here. So there's our new one. And then we're going to do the next one to put this one second. So there's our old file.
So these commands specify the router will attempt to boot the new iOS image first. If there's something wrong with that one or it can't be located, it'll go to our second one. So we can exit out of that one and do a show run. So you can see right here, here's our boot records. We've got our new one first, our old one second. So now we just need to verify that the proper image is loaded when the router boots up. So we need to save the current configuration. So we'll do copy run start. And then we will reset the router by typing in reload and hit enter I'll wait for this to reload and then we'll do a show version so if we're looking on here for our file here's our system image file and that is our new one, the base with the K. So we have uh, got that one on there. So we've got everything we needed to do done. So that is a little bit about installing the Cisco iOS software from a TFTP server. Thank you very much for watching.